Here are our players of the week for week one. We're gonna name a few of these guys and we're gonna start off with who else? Then the Amish rifle, Ryan Fitzpatrick, had a big week against the Saints. Play action right there, boom! Completed to one of one Deshaun Jackson for the touchdown. Let's break down that play. You're going to see Jackson circled in the bottom of your screen being covered by cornerback Patrick Robinson. Fitzpatrick knows that this is zone defense. So after the play action, he sees Robinson let go of Jackson because his assignment is to cover down low. Fitzpatrick knows that the linebackers and the safeties can't catch up to Jackson. Throws a deep ball for the touchdown. He also did some work on the ground with his legs. You're gonna see right here, Cameron Jordan is the guy that is circled on the bottom of your screen. That's because this is gonna be a read pass option. He's gonna fake it to Peyton Barber, and depending on what Cameron Jordan does, if Cameron Jordan pulls in and goes after Barber, then Fitzpatrick is gonna keep it and run it into the end zone for the touchdown. But if Jordan stays, then he's gonna hand it off to Barber, and it's gonna be a running play but let's just see what happens right here you see that Jordan bites on it he's going after the running back right there Fitzpatrick sees that and immediately by instinct pulls in the ball runs it in for the touchdown does magic with that amazing beard of his 21 of 28 417 yards four touchdowns passing one rushing touchdowns as you just saw there 156.3 QB rating but the most important stat he pulled off an improbable win against the favored New Orleans Saints, 48-40 in the Superdome. Our second player of the week is going to be Tyreek Hill. He did it all on offense, on special teams. Just a simple route right there. Patrick McHolmes completes it to Cheetah, but because of his speed, he can get away and run it in for the touchdown. Seven receptions, 169 yards, two receiving touchdowns, and one kick return touchdown, which was actually a 91-yard punt return for a touchdown. Our third player that we're gonna highlight probably isn't gonna get a lot of attention, but it's gonna be Denzel Ward, the cornerback for the Cleveland Browns, the rookie cornerback who should have a good career if he plays like this. Two interceptions, Ben Roethlisberger rolls out to his right, Ward undercuts the route, gets the interception. Now let's break that down and see exactly what happened and why Ward is gonna be a good corner for years to come. Ward on the top of your screen, it's a zone defense for the Browns, so whoever is in Denzel Ward's zone, he has to cover them. But Ward, the whole entire time, looks at Roethlisberger more so than he does the receiver that he's covering. He sees him in his peripheral vision, you see right there the zone that he's going to cover, but Roethlisberger's eyes are looking towards Antonio Brown. And as soon as the mannerisms show that he's going to throw towards Antonio Brown, Ward knows that. He takes the risk to go out of the zone and undercut the route and get the interception. Six tackles, two interceptions, and he led the Browns to a tie, 21-21 to versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. And our fourth player of the week is a bad man, Aaron Rodgers. The whole entire night, the Bears were rushing at least five to try to get pressure on Rodgers, but Rodgers could read the man coverage, throws a beauty of a pass to Devontae Adams over the Bears cornerback for a big game. Now, let's look at the game winner to Randall Cobb. Again, the Bears are going to rush five on this play. Rodgers knows that's man coverage, has some solid protection by the Green Bay offensive line, but look at the perfect ball placement by Rodgers to Randall Cobb, throwing it on the outside shoulder so that the defender cannot get to the ball. Only the best of the best can throw passes like these. And Cobb is gonna get the completion, does wonders with yards after the catch, makes some defenders miss, and in for the game winner. And the Packers get that improbable comeback down 20 to nothing and Rodgers is our last player of the week. 20 of 30, 286 yards passing, three touchdowns, and he led the Packers to a 24 to 23 victory over the Chicago Bears. And if you found this video entertaining, make sure you guys like this video and leave a comment down below. Let us know who your players of the week are for week one. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel to get updates on when we come out with more of these kinds of videos where we break down film of the players of the week.